Now today we will discuss the entire summary of the chapter of numerical integrations. Now numerical integration can be classified into the different categories like uh, in a Newton's Coates method and gauss Legendre's formulae. In Newton's Coates method there are different uh, sub formulas are available depending on the type of degree. Now it, in Newton's Coates method if polynomial of degree 1 that is a straight line is being used then that is being called as a trapezoidal rule. If we are going to use the polynomial of degree 2 then degree 2 means it is a quadratic equation then it is called as the Simpson's one third method. If you are, you are going to use the polynomial of degree 3 then it is called as the cubic equation and that will be evaluated by using a formula Simpson's 3a rule. Then if you are using a polynomial of degree 6, that is the 6 degree polynomial or 6 degree curve, then that can be evaluated by using a formula of Weddell's rule. Then there is a second classification for the evaluation of integration is nothing but a gauss Legendre's formula. gauss Legendre's formula will consist of 2 point formula and 3 point formula. Now let us see one by one every methodology, that is the trapezoidal rule. If I want to evaluate the integration from x0 to xn f of x, dx. Now trapezoidal rule it is one of the Newton's Coates method where polynomial of degree 1 is used and that is a straight line that is in the form y is equal to ax plus b where maximum index is 1. As maximum index is 1 means you will require only two points to join the curve. Now suppose I want to evaluate the integration of f of x dx having a limit from x0 to xn. Now we have plotted the graph x versus f of x having a limit from x0 to xn and these two points are being joined with the help of a straight line and this much entire the error available in the calculation for the single strip. Then the formula for the evaluation by trapezoidal rule is area is equal to h by 2 into y0 plus yn y0 plus yn that is summations of two parallel sides of the trapezoid into height divided by 2. If you are having a uh, number, um, number of major strips are more Suppose we are having a three number of major strips, then that for graphical representation will be as shown in the graph. That is having a uh, coordinates of x0, x1, x2 and x3 corresponding y0, y1, y2 and y3. Three different areas, therefore the total area will be equal to the addition of area 1, area 2 and area 3. Then the total summarized formula will be equal to height divided by 2 into uh, first term plus last term plus 2 into summations of remaining term. This is entirely regarding the trapezoidal rule where total number of strips equal to the total number of major strips. Now secondly, we will discuss about the Simpson's one third rule. Simpson's one third rule is uh, Newton's course method where polynomial of degree 2 is being used. Polynomial of degree 2 means they are going to use the quadratic equation in the form x square plus bx plus c is equal to 2 where maximum index is 2. As maximum index is 2 means we require minimum 3 points to join the curve. Now suppose I want to evaluate the integration of f of x dx having a limits from x0 to xn. For a single major strip, then the representation of graph will be somewhat like this. Each and every major strip is being divided into the two number of substrips. Therefore, formula will be equal to h by 3 into y0 plus 4 times of y1 plus y2, where h will be equal to xn minus x0 divided by 3. Divided, sorry, divided by 2n. Then uh, if uh, you are going to use the two number of major strips, then the total number of strips will require uh, total number of strips will be equal to four. In case of Simpson's one third rule, the total number of strips will be equal to the two times of two into number of major strips. Every major strip is being divided into the two number of substrips. Now we'll discuss about the third method that is Simpson's three eight rule. In Simpson's 3 at rule, it is also called as a triple strip integration. It is going to use the polynomial of degree 3, that is the cubic equation in the form x square plus bx square plus cx plus d is equal to 0, where maximum index is 3. As maximum index is 3, it requires 4 number of minimum points to join the curve. Now, suppose the, uh, the graph shows itself, it creates a 4 number of points. That means every major strip is being divided into the 3 number of substrips. Therefore, this is the first substrip, second substrip, and third strip. The formula for evaluation of the curve it will be equal to the 3h by 8 into 3 y0 plus 3 times of y1 plus 3 times of y2 plus y3, where h will be evaluated as xn minus x0 divided by 3 times of 
M. Then the lastly, that is the Gauss Legendre's formulae are there. There are two formulas are there. That is the two point formula and three point formula. First of all, let us see that it is a two point formula. Two point formula will be evaluated as a into f of x one plus f of x two, where x one is equal to minus a by root three plus b, and x two is equal to a divided by root three plus. B, where a is equal to x n minus x zero divided by two, and b is equal to x n plus x zero divided by two. Similarly, three point formula will be evaluated by using the formula that is a into five by nine into f of x one plus eight by nine into f of x two plus five by nine into f of x three. Where x one is equal to a into minus three by uh, minus under root of three by five plus b. X two is equal to b, and x three is equal to a into under root of 3 by 5 plus b and value of a and b will be similar to the gauss legendre's two point formula this is entirely regarding the numerical integration now if if we have we have studied the all five different methodology trapezoidal rule simpson's one third rule simpson's three eight rule and uh, gauss legendre's two point formula and gauss legendre's three point formula you need you try to solve all these uh, numerical and uh, from our assignment and try to uh, visit to our website that is sites.google.com oblique sanjuni.org.in oblique nmo for the all further details thank you